Ja, det er en ting. to the video and talk a little bit more about the residence hall itself just in case there's anyone interested in attending Washington State University and especially if you started looking at the residence halls and you're trying to figure out which one's the best fit for you. I stayed in Olympia Avenue this year as a freshman. All the floors have the same layout but starting from the bottom when you like first walk into the building there's the front desk area and that's where you pick up your packages. In front of that there's the lounge area and there's like a fire pit and a pool table down there. There's some vending machines farther down the hallway there's the bathroom which is pretty similar to like the communal bathrooms except downstairs it's three stalls and if you go farther down the hallway another like entrance into the building there's also the elevator which is across from like the mailbox area you need to like swipe your card or you can just like put it up to the scan reader and then you're able to go up but once you get onto the floors like i said they're all the same like layout to the right of the elevator is the kitchen area and in the kitchen area there's a laundry room a smaller lounge area and then the kitchen but unfortunately this like entire school year in my dorm our kitchen was closed except like near the end of November they opened it but all second semester is closed but then when you get off to the elevator and you go down the left there's like more of the rooms but once you get kind of like in the middle ish like further down the middle if that makes sense there's like the communal, communal shower there's the like study area i never use the study area but it was actually really pretty but in the communal bathrooms there are like two countertops two bathroom stalls and then there's three shower stalls the first two are pretty much the same size but then the third one is bigger so that it's more wheelchair accessible and then in the rooms olympia does have like singles and doubles but i think it also has a triple but i had like never heard about it i just saw it online so all I'm aware of really is just a single and double and in there there may be like private bathrooms, sh shared bathrooms which is like the Jack and Jill style and then there's also suites so there may be like four people sharing two sink areas and then the semi-private bathroom because they all share it. They also have like a little lounge area and also again just like to get into the building you may have to swipe your card or you may be able to just like put it up to the scanner and then also to use the bathroom on any floor except the main floor. You have to like swipe to get in to get into your room you have to swipe and with that being said i think i included like pretty much everything we can finally get into the actual dorm tour part okay so once you go to my room this is the perspective from the counter sink area this is what the back of my door looks like right behind me is the first closet in the room and speaking of the situation and maybe a little bit above the door are the lights that are strung up around my room we have the light switch by the way the lighting in my room sucks. The low the light switch is the trash can that the school provides and they actually give you bags for it but I got my own so I just have like these lavender scented ones and off to the right there's a doorstop that I got from Walmart and then this is just my shower caddy stuff and then right next to the door we have some face masks. I don't really wear these ones but I still just have them hung up just in case I can't find like the main ones that I usually wear and then above it is my pink cowboy hat so I have some beads from bid day and then above it is just the fireman speaker starting with the right side of the room we have my counter sink area so we're gonna sort of top action but pretty much we have this really nice light I love the lighting of my sink area uh, but we have this fake vine resting on it with some paper butterflies that I colored and then right on the right we have this towel rack so we have my hand towel and then my dish towel and then right here we have an outlet and then the light switch and then obviously smack in the middle we have the sink and the faucet and then my blue sponge that i use to clean like the countertop if you notice right here it looks kind of gray and i promise my sink is clean it's just because whatever like the material is for the sink it just doesn't like pick up well so it just looks kind of foggy below the mirror counter we have my hand soap dispenser it's like a mint green color and it says wash and it was from home goods for four dollars then on the left side we have some hand sanitizer spray from victoria's secret it's the mandarin peach scent and then next to it we just have some vaseline and then a mason jar that's pretty much empty but it does have a couple of q-tubes in it so then on top of the counter i usually have paper towels right here but i ran out so 
Right now, we're just chilling with my three Polaroids. Originally, it was just this one of me and my friend Denali on my last day in town. But then my friend came the other day to collect her stuff. So I love a Polaroid of me and her and then just her in front of her dorm hall. And then next to it, we just have my toothbrush holder. And I'm pretty sure that I got it from Target. But it holds my toothpaste, my toothbrush, and then my dish brush. Below the sink, we have my two cabinet doors. And under the sink, we have three baskets. So the first one is just like my daily use stuff. So the second one is just cleaning supplies. And then the third one is just like extras. And then this spot right here it just has like my face toner, lotion, laundry stuff, and then my room spray. Next to my sink is one of the best sets in my room. First thing on the chair, we have this brown blanket that has my sorority letters as well as my name embroidered in it. And then on top of the desk, we have an application for this yogurt place back home. Smack here in the middle, we have two Harry Styles posters that my friend gave me yesterday. Behind that is this blue crate that I actually freaking broke. But my big got it for me for my big little day gift in this jar and then this jar. She has like some of my favorite candy in it. And then in this jar, it just has pop tabs because we collect them for our philanthropy, which is around the McDonald house. And behind that is just some stickers really that relate to my sorority, but there's also like other things too. And next to that, continuing as a part of like my gifts, she got me letters and then another gift from her is this like white board it has our letters up here in the corner but these butterflies were a part of like decorations that she got but i didn't know what to do with them so i just put them there but anyway so like right here i have a sticky note with like my finals for the week and like everything to do and when it says covid it's because i have to go get my second dose which is right here that's my vaccine card and i just want to put it somewhere where i wouldn't forget so then next to the desk is the other bed for the room on top of the bed we just have this extra bed sheet that i had and then we have this black and white blanket from pink that i got for christmas i think like last year and then these two squishmallows so my mom sent this one up to me for easter and then we have this butterfly that my friend Denali sent to me on like the arm of the bed we have just a fake vine and then above that we just have some polaroids okay so then below the bed we just have three dresser drawers and then there's my microwave from Amazon. There's also the fake vines that fell that I just didn't feel like putting up. Also, there is an outlet right there. On like the leg of the bed, I guess, I just have these like white fairy lights that my friend gave me when we first met, but like I broke them, so kind of sucks. But then recently I decided to wrap one of the fake vines around it and I think it just looks really cute. Next to the bed is my TV and then also my dresser. But I have my Roku, and then my Roku remote, and then my regular TV remote. I don't know if you guys remember, on TikTok, people would write things they want to let go, and then they'd break the plate. Well, I did that, I just didn't break the plate. But it has my Canon camera, some like lip gloss, lip balm, jewelry that I don't wear, um, my Bath & Body Works, hand spray, which is cucumber melon scented, and then we have my pepper spray. I broke the like case for it, so that's why it looks like this. We have one of the lights like i said i did break it these glasses are from the dollar store and then those two are from amazon so this is the dresser drawers they're pretty empty now but this one pretty much just has like undergarments this one like held pajamas and then this one just has like um extra stuff in it my window is so big literally such a beautiful view of the parking lot but anyway so on the windowsill we have this cactus that my friend got me for halloween i also have these like stars lining along it i got these from this college that i visited but then here is my led light you know there also is an outlet right here okay, so now i'm moving on to my side of the room and we're gonna start with the first closet so it's currently holding my shoe organizer. I did move it over from the other closet. Behind it, we have my two suitcases. That one's already full of clothes because I kind of started packing up, but like not really. And then off to the side here, there's supposed to be a right there, but 
throw it just in bags to like save space. These two things are just stuffed for like if the other bed was supposed to be lofted. And then above we have my boots. So we just have like my casual boots, snow boots, rain boots. And then there's like two bags that the school provided. And then literally today when I was walking, I found this on the ground and I grabbed it, but go Googs. So then with the second closet, which is mine, on the ground here, we just have like a pile of clothes that I will wear again. I like to make a pile of clothes I'm gonna wear again. We have my laundry basket and then this is a basket that my big got for me. So then here's the side like where all my jackets are. And then above, we just have boxes. And we have extra hangers. So like pants and then like tops, slash jackets. And then we have my steamer. So then on the other side, we have my like cougar bucket that my mom got me for Lowe's. And I haven't used this bucket, but pretty much I just kept my decorations. But right now, it currently just has like extra like grocery bags. But then we have this recycling bin that the school provided and this is pretty much always full of like juice containers and that is just my vacuum my vacuum sucks so i would not get that then yeah this is the side where like some of my clothes are there's really nothing right now because they're pretty much all in my laundry basket under my bed we have my desk slash like kitchen area so first thing on my chair here we have my white winter jacket that i wore often so i just put on my chair under my desk, we have my magic bullet that I only use once this year, but it will get used more next year. This drawer is actually built in and it just has stuff for like when you're moving me in. These drawers are actually movable, but I like to have them right under the built-in one. But this one just has like my school stuff and that one has like miscellaneous stuff. Off to the side here, there is an outlet, so currently my phone charger and then the lights of my room are just plugged in. So wrapped around like the leg of the bed and then we just keep going up and then like around my room are the lights so on the wall of the bed we have the room thermostat but you can't control it someone else does in the building and then right here is just like the battery box for my light up top and then on top of my desk i have my wallet my humidifier with the cinnamon essential oil scent and we have this pegboard that I got from Marshalls, I'm pretty sure. Originally, my Polaroid is right there, but right now I just have a bad Polaroid that I accidentally took right there. And then my disposable, a scrunchie. Normally, I have, like, face masks right there. This little, like, crate thing with the space gun that my friend got for me when we thought it was going to be a space cowgirl for Halloween. And then there's also Tylenol right there. And then we have the mirror that my friend gave me when she moved out. I don't want to put it, but behind that we have my elephant sculpture with some bracelets I didn't wear. This lion stuffed animal that my big got for me. This panda stuffed animal that I have, and I think my mom's boyfriend got it for me. And then we just have my desk light. So next to it, we just have my three-tier cart. Behind there is an outlet, as well as another one behind my fridge. But this is my fridge. Literally hate it. My freezer room is really small and it doesn't freeze anything well. I have some applesauce and then a Brita and then that's what the door looks like. And then above that I just have some more books. And since my bed is lofted we have the ladder that I use to climb up on every night when I go to bed or every morning when we get down. So right here is my favorite blanket. It's just white and blue. I unfortunately don't know where I got it from so I'm sorry about that. But then this beige one that I have is from Home Goods, and then we have my white comforter. I think I might have gotten it from Ross, but I'm not really sure. And then we have my satin pillowcase that I got from Amazon. My gray body pillow. Got the pillow and the body pillow cover from Target. We have my star from Amazon, and then again there's some fake vines right here. Originally there were four hung up. But I kept like yanking them down in my sleep, so now it's just two. I hung like some fake butterflies on this light here, and I thought this was really cute. And I low key want to keep it up there, but I don't know if they're gonna find me for that, so I probably will take them down. Right next to my ladder is my full length mirror, and it just has a fake vine with some fake paper butterflies on it, as well as my LED strip being right there. Above it, we just have my sign for when I ran home. For bid day, it's a cowboy boot because like our theme was like 
pound girl or whatever. I don't really know what it was. But right here, I have two Polaroids. First one is from Big Little Reveal. And this one is from Big Day. So my big actually was my Big Day bunny. And I think it's cute that we are now Big Little. So then to the left of my window, we have some vines and my letter board. There was originally six, but they fell down. So I just have three. But on my letter board, it says nothing could not be. And then I just have some Polaroids of me and my friends. Well, that's it for the video, guys, as well as a wrap on my freshman year at Washington State University. And as you guys can probably tell, I'm back home, back for the summer. I'll be back in Pullman in three months. Don't know exactly when, but sometime in August I'm going back. I really hope you guys enjoyed getting to learn more about one of the residence hall as well as finally getting to see my dorm room, especially since this is my first and only year living in the dorm since next year I'll be living in an apartment. But if you guys have any more questions regarding like college, dorm living, Washington State University specifically, sorority or cumin, maybe just Greek life in general, I can try my best to answer them to the best of my abilities because obviously I don't know that much. I will see you guys sometime soon in another video. Bye. All right, last take. It's like 6 a.m. and I'm just trying to, can't sleep, so I'm just gonna record this. Fuck it. Damn, I don't even know how to feel, Hey, I can't even tell what's real, yeah.